this is Stampy, and welcome to another video in my Skylanders Trap Team Let's Play. I am here as my favourite Skylander in all of the world, Pop Fizz, at the Skylanders Academy, but I will now immediately switch over to a brand new Skylander, and uh, this is uh, another one of the Skylander Minis, so uh, there's no guarantee they're going to be good, but there's a pretty good guarantee that they're going to be cute. This is Drobit, and uh, this is uh, one of the uh, the tech Skylanders, and um, it's kind of hard to see because there's a big picture of a bird's face. Look, that picture of that bird is completely blocking him, <laughs> so I guess we can't see him now, uh, but we'll see him in a second once we start the mission, and I should probably uh, tell you what we're doing. Uh, we're about to go to the future! Uh, we met someone called Da Pinci uh, in the last couple episodes, and uh, yeah, we need to go after Wolfgang, and Da Pinci uh, is going to, to take us there, and uh, we basically need to stop him from doing his evil doing. So, oh, actually, I can speak to Flynn, but Da Pinci, I've just seen, is up here. <gasps> is this a time portal? I, I always had this gateway here, and I didn't know what it did. Is this what we're going to go through to go to the future? Maybe. Let's, uh, let's find out. Ah, yes, we meet again once more. And this time, so that the Pinchy can send you far, far into the future. Are you ready to travel the time, Skylander? I, I am. I am indeed. Let's go and uh, head to the future. Hey, all right. The da Pinchy now send you into the future to stop the evil wolf gang. Just hold real still here, please. Is this, um... Is this safe? Is this definitely safe? Maybe we're not going through that portal then. Maybe he's just taking us. I don't know where he's taking us. Just to a loading screen. <laughs> oh no! The future of the Skylands look not so good. No one was around to stop the Wolf Gang from taking over when he arrived. Now he's building the ultimate speaker. The big bad woofer, which is so loud it make everything blow up. You see what I mean? No good! You must stop the Wolfgang and return him to the present, which is actually the past. Oh, this time travel is so confusing! Wow, this is, um, very different. What? Did you say something? Sorry, but I can barely hear after that last sound check. They're getting louder and louder, you know? Haha! <laughs> nice retro look you've got going on there, stranger. And. Say, aren't you some kind of hero? Gosh, that's the best news I've heard all day. Although, I haven't really heard much of anything. Not with all this noise. Hey, maybe you can help us get rid of Wolfgang and that big bad woofer he's building. Watch out for his guards, though. They're even less friendly than they look. The big bad woofer. <laughs> uh, the big bad subwoofer. Right, so um, we need to, to stop uh, Wolfgang from making that huge speaker then. How cool does this look being in the future? And I think that I'm the perfect Skylander for this. Don't I just fit in perfectly? I look like I'm from this time, don't I? And oh, look at the, um, look at the happy computers there. Let's pull the, uh, the lever, and I guess that's going to open up that gate. And then what can I do then? Look, I can shoot lasers from my eyes? Or is that my mouth? I think that is. I think that's lasers from my eyes. And are those... Oh, and I can shoot some cogs as well? I am literally the perfect Skylander for where I am. I am very lucky. Anyway, looks like we have uh, one of Wolfgang's robots. And, uh, oh, I'm not the, the right element. I would uh, like to be the... Um, uh, yeah, the earth element, but I'm not, so not much I can do about that. And I'm getting really hurt here, all right? I might switch over to Crosscrow, uh, which is one of the uh, the villains that I captured recently, and uh, uh, use them to help me up taking out this robot. I think I need to get behind it. I think it's got a force field on the front. So if I whiz around behind it, there we go. Now I can actually do some, uh, some proper damage. Oh, look, I do no damage at all if I hit it from the front. I think I need to wait until it's charging up, and then go try and get it from behind. And there we go. I was able to, to take it out. And uh, so now the uh, the damage is done. I'm going to switch back over to, to Drobit and carry on. Right, left or right? 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 Oh, look, there's someone uh, here I can speak to, actually. <laughs> I'm deciding between left or right, and in the end, I decided to go straight down the middle. Uh, quest discovered. Ice cream in the future. In these times of oppression and hopelessness, I know just what Skylands needs. 
ice cream. And I'm selling it. Yay! Problem is, I have no customers. What I need is advertising. Long ago, there lived a rage mage who was supposedly the best pitchman in the business. So good, he could sell ice cream in the future, they all said. If you happen to run into him, tell him to stop by so we can see if the rumors are true. Rage mage, you say? I do believe I have the other uh, rage mage, and I think they're inside of this trap. So let me just uh, switch over rage and see. Mage. There we go. Rage mage, at your service. Let's sell ourselves some ice cream, shall we? <laughs> Space rats. It's you! Can't believe you're actually here! I suppose you know all about my failing ice cream business and need for advertising. Word is that you are so good that you could sell ice cream in the future. Well, let's see it then! Right? That's it? That's the stroke of advertising genius that all the history books talk <laughs> about? Wait a minute! You are a genius! Please disregard my previous comment and take this reward. In fact, I am even going to send ice cream back in time so you can enjoy my Sundays in your own present day. Yay! More ice cream, the better. It's just like, um, real life. When they just wave a sign around and then people go to the, the ice cream place. And look, they've uh, decorated a uh, Rage Mage as well. I might uh, stick with Rage Mage for a little bit. Uh, he's uh, kind of cool. And uh, let's go, let's go down this way then. All aboard. Thank you for choosing Future Cab, the taxi of tomorrow, today. Thank you. Um, I haven't said where I'm going yet, but I guess you assumed this platform up here that looks like it's got Lego on. And aha, I have found a, uh, a soul gem, I believe, uh, for gear shift. Uh, certainly a Skylander who looks like they fit in. I actually think this is um, uh, one of the uh, the trap masters, this one here. And I don't actually have this one yet, but uh, it's good to, to have the soul gem uh, ready for, for when I do. And uh, are you going to take me back or no? I think I just need to go and uh, jump straight back down here. I think I went the right way, though. I think that was uh, a little bonus way. So if I go uh, down to the, the right now, uh, then hopefully, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to be heading off to the, the new area. Let me go and ride another one of these uh, future cabs then, shall we? Thank you for choosing Future Cab, the taxi of tomorrow, today. <laughs> no worries. I like that little dancing and then bobbing up and down as you go around. Right, what's going on here then? Electro bridge controls. Let's go and switch this lever. And uh, this is going to make... Ooh, that's uh, quite a cool bridge uh, that we can now jump across. And I guess I'm going to have to be ready because... Whoa, oh, what's this? Oh, whoa, missiles. Missiles coming at me. Missiles, whoop, just about avoided that one. Are we done? Are we done with the missiles? Nope, we are certainly not done with the missiles. Right, I need to, to open that gate there somehow. Or right, let's wait for the missiles to stop. And uh, we're going down. We're going down. Right. I think I need to find a um a lever or something around here uh, to go and get rid of that. It's kind of scary with the uh, the huge missiles coming towards me. All right, is this going to open up the gate? There we go. The gate is open, but we still need uh, to get up there to get through it, which is uh, uh, probably the, the difficult bit. Let's go and gather up some of these things, shall we? Uh, get some uh, of these coins, and let's bounce up and go, 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 quick for the missiles. Oh, there's one coming. Woof, woof, and jump through. Ah, oh, no, I nearly avoided them. The last missile, <laughs> the last missile that I could have hit got me. And wait a minute, aren't we supposed to be in the future? It's all so sci-fi and futuristic and really cool and funky. Then we just got this old retro radio, which is just <laughs> just standing here. Right, let's see if uh, in the future the radios still spew out a whole load of money. And they do! Futuristic donut-looking money. <laughs> I couldn't imagine carrying much of that in my wallet. It wouldn't uh, fit in very well, would it? Right, let's go and uh, take out some of these chompies then. And is this bad? Yep, there's uh, an evil alien here. I seem to be... um. Dealing with them, okay. No, well, actually, it says that villains uh, are stronger in this area, so it would be a good opportunity uh, to go and switch over to uh, the Rage Mage, who's uh, one of the uh, uh, the Skylanders I like quite a lot. I can't actually remember what their all of their attacks are, though. It does that this weird thing where it charges up, and then what does it do? Uh, I'm not actually sure. Oh, there we go. I've made uh, an orb float around for a bit. Uh, okay, this is uh, this is kind of cool. And what are these little robots? Uh, these are some cute little robots. Look at them. <laughs> Their little headbands on. Oh, look at the way they run as well. I always feel bad when there's uh, cute villains because I feel bad for having to, to take them out because they look so awesome. They're pretty tough, though. I'm doing a, a whole load of damage. And, uh, yeah, it's taken a, a while to, to finish them all off. And there we go. I've spawned in that little... Uh, that little orb, which I think is going to come round and uh, help me out. Uh, so that's uh, pretty awesome. There we go. The orb was able to, to take them out. And I think that was all of them. Oh, no. 
Uh, there's some more coming in, but I can't switch over to Rage Mage anymore uh, because it's um, uh, yeah, it's recharging. And oh, wait a minute, this is this is one of the um, the Skylanders I've faced before. They've just put a little sparkly purple thing on the top and just said it's a futuristic version. <laughs> That's just what the future holds. Everything's going to be exactly the same, but we all wear some glowy purple headbands. I don't know about you, but I could imagine worse futures than that. <laughs> We're all the same, but slightly more fashionable. <laughs> right, let's uh, try and avoid these lasers and go after what's firing them. Where is it? It's hiding down here, is it? You cannot hide from me. Uh, certainly in this big open area. No. Oh, no. One of these guys again. These guys are tough. So if you remember, I need to go and try and get behind them and then start shooting my lasers. I can start throwing some of my records as well. Uh, not my records, sorry. My my gears. They do look a bit like records, though. And uh, there we go. They do six damage, but the lasers do 24, and I can fire them so quickly. Uh, I think it might be uh, better to, to use my lasers. But it looks like uh, there's a uh, another robot here. Oh, his head just came off for a second there. Right, let's get behind it, shoot the, uh, the gears, and then go in with the lasers. There we go. I did some good damage there. But I need to avoid this attack again. Get Get behind. Oh no, I missed. I missed with the gears, but I can now go in with the lasers from my eyes. And there we go. I was able to take him out, and I'm almost at level six already. Very impressive. Let me have a slow round of applause for Stampy Cat. There we go. That's that's what I deserve for always getting to, to level six. And by the looks of things, uh, there's a, a fire elemental gate here. So if I uh, go and put down wildfire, uh, we can go and head through here and uh, try and get a, a brand new magical hat. And I've not actually put uh, any uh, accessories on my um, uh, on my character. So uh, it would be good to, to um, uh, yeah, to get a special hat or a, uh, an amulet or something uh, so I can go and uh, put it on him. So uh, let's go and uh, head our way through here then. Ooh, a mini sun. There's a mini sun. This is probably um this is probably quite hot. So um let's uh, let's avoid the um the the solar flares. You see the the bit sticking out. All right, let's wait for them to go past. And if I kind of stay in between two of them, I might be okay. I do seem though to be walking rather slowly. Come on, wildfire, go quicker. Keep up the pace. Keep up the pace. Oh no, it's slowly getting closer behind me. I want to get all of the the coins if I can though. Oh no, come on, go 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 go. Is this the end? Is this the end here? I think it is. Come on, and oh no, <laughs> just like the missiles got hit by the very last one. But at least now I can. Smash 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 smash. But they do open up the present and um what's that what is this thing extreme viking hat so it's gonna ask me if i want to put it on uh, but i don't want to put it on wildfire i want to put it on my skylander of the day who i can't remember their name but as soon as it switches over i will remember drobit drobit it's kind of a difficult name to remember to be fair drobit Hi, my name is Drobit. Oh, or as it speaks. Hello, my name is Drobit. <laughs> right, let's uh, change the outfit then. And uh, let's put a hat on. We don't have to necessarily use that hat. We can put on any one that looks good. And that one doesn't look good. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do what I always do. Uh, rather than looking at the actual attributes and what helps them out, I'm just going to put one on that looks funny or cool in some way. I can put on the alarm clock. They don't really fit. None of them really fit on him. Oh, this is the one I just got. I kind of like that one though. The extreme Viking hat. Oh, I think it improves, uh, improves their air attack though and this isn't an air um skyland oh, who cares as i said it looks funny so i'm gonna wear it and uh, let's put a, uh, a trinket on as well then it's gonna have to be uh, quite a small trinket because it's uh, quite a small skylander what about a little sunflower hmm, i can't actually see where the the sunflower is going but uh, yeah let's put a sunflower on why not and uh, when i run around i should be able to see where it's oh, is it on the tail oh it's on the uh, the back of the hat there's a little sunflower doesn't really work it's kind of going through the hat but oh well i got my nice big hordes and i think the skylander is a little bit uh, quicker than wildfire so hopefully i'm going to be able to get through this uh this little sun a little bit easier all right so where's the bit that i leave i think down here yep there we go, I did it. I've got a brand new magical hat. So now let's go uh, carry on making our way through the level, uh, trying to get Wolfgang and, uh, yeah, stopping him from using the big bad Woofer, which is going <laughs> to destroy everything around him. He's just an evil person, isn't he? And he needs to be stopped. That's some nice fighting back there, stranger. Thank you. We could use someone like you in the resistance. Come on, I'll take you to meet our undercover operative. Ooh. Okay. How are you going to take me? Aha. I go on the on the top here. Anti-grav truck. Ah, I guess that's how it flies around the place. And look at that thing in the middle. It's like a Death Star. It looks like there's an unhappy face. You see on the left of the screen there? It looks like those little eyes and an unhappy face look quite funny. Uh oh I don't think that alarm flaring is a good thing. 
We're caught in some grabber beam. Quick, do something to break its hold. Anything. Um, okay, okay, I'll do something. Um, if I push these little blocks around, that might help me somehow. Oh, there's a cannon. Oh, okay, I need to fire the, the, oh, it's a laser. Right, if I knock these blocks off, I can get them all out of the way. And then that way I can fire the, the laser at where the, uh, the big arrows are. So let's go and uh, move the, the laser along a little bit. If I can be quick, move it along. No, no, go and nudge it, nudge it. Come on, use your, use your new horns. Oh, nope, I nudged it too far there, I think. Did I go too far? Oh, no, there we go. I was able to, to get one of the, the grabber arms off. So let's now go and uh, move across. Go, 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 go. A little bit further. One more and fire. There we go. I got rid of the grabbers with my laser. See, that horn hat came wow, in handy. Wow, you're good. Now let's get moving before more of those grabbers grab us. I agree. I could not agree more. So let's uh, go and uh, head our way down here. And uh, yeah, carry on going after to Wolfgang. This seems to be uh, my stop. And oh look, the fairy's here. The fairy's here, but I've sadly hardly got um, any money so far. So I really I don't think I'd be able to, to buy very much anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And oh, I think this is going to be the thing that opens up the gate. Right, so let me go and pull this quickly. Yep, uh, that's what uh, allows me to, to get to her. Uh, to get to, to Persephone, I think her name is. And oh look, I'm the right element. Yay, I'm finally the, the right element. I'm the, uh, the element uh, that I want to be uh, to try and take them out more effectively. And uh, I did do... Uh, that mightily effectively then so I can grab a bit of money here it's probably still not enough uh, to buy any moves let's go and have a, a little quick uh, a quick look then though and uh, just see what some of the the moves I could get so what's the the cheapest one uh, 410 to fly oh I'm so close I am so well I'm not so close I need almost twice the amount that I have but uh, yeah I don't have that uh, so hopefully I can get some money in this area and then I can go straight back to her and uh, maybe get some some more moves but there doesn't seem to be uh, many places around here where I can get some money. It's just a, a whole load of googlies to take out. I mean, there's a little bit of money up here, uh, but I can't even get up there. I think that uh, that gate, you see the um, the blue beams? I have a feeling that that's going to drop down uh, once I've uh, destroyed uh, all of the, the googly. So let's go and uh, take out this thing. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, it's full of chompies. <laughs> it's a thing. Oh, look, it sucks them all back up. It's a thing full of the, uh, the little chompies. Right, let's use my gears because uh, the gears are going to be good against groups uh, because it kind of fires out too. I can take up a whole bunch. And oh, look at the size of this. It's just a huge, a huge chompy with all the little ones coming out of it. <laughs> I was able to, to take them out pretty easily though. And I'm almost uh, at level eight already. Right, anyone else? Anyone else want to challenge me? Nope, they've all given up. Ha ha ha. But this uh, little gate did open up just like I thought it would. Oh, that's a code word, by the way. Well, one of them was. The other was an actual cough. Anyway, I can get you inside the big bad woofer. But of course, only if you follow me. Cough. Uh, that was also a cough. <laughs> okay, lead the way. Come on. Come on. Oh, am I in your way? Come on. Don't be scared. Keep going. <laughs> oh, look at the way he walks. Oh, that's ridiculous. And oh, oh, there's another radio. Come on, let's see if I can get some money. All I need is 410. 410. And then I'm going to have the uh, the ability to fly. Come on, radio. Please give me some money. Right, while the uh, the radio is playing, I'm going to go and grab some of the uh, the money that was uh, sitting around up here. And oh, I think I need to jump back down this way. And oh, there uh, seems to actually be quite a lot of money I could get here. So all I need is 410, and uh, then I can get the ability to fly. And uh, hopefully I can get that, uh, yeah, before having to, to leave Persephone. And oh, that is what I needed to do uh, to open up that gate. So I, I think I need to go up there in a minute. And oh, look, oh, look, if I um open up the uh, the villain stash, I should be able to get a whole load of money. So I need to... <laughs> and here we go. Yes, this is exactly what I needed. How did the game know that I needed all of this money? right now <laughs> so I can gather all of this up and whoa I needed 410 and I now have over a thousand so uh, I might even be able to get a, a couple moves now I might get a little bit greedy and I should hopefully uh, get a little bit more uh, money from this uh, radio yeah another little bit more gold you're gonna fire some out Come on, you always fire out some money. There we go. You knew I wanted it. So I now have uh, 1,055 to spend. Absolutely perfect time uh, to get all of the, the monies that I needed. So now if I go back to, to Persephone, and oh, looks like the uh, the force field's back up. Oh, no, don't, don't say she's stuck behind the force field now. I'm going to cry if it doesn't open up. There we go. I switched the, the lever back. And oh, is it not going to open? Oh, no, please. Oh, please open. 
No, please, I've got the money. I've got the money. Just like, can I, can I just not speak to her through the, the fence? Can I jump over? Let me try pulling the, the lever again and see if it opens up again. If it doesn't, that is cruel. That is, that is teasing me. That would be cruel if it doesn't open. Please do it. There we go. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I got a, a little bit worried then that I wasn't going to be able to, to get through and uh, buy any of my, my magical upgrades. I certainly upgrade? am. I've never been readier. So could I get two of them? Um, oh, I think I just about couldn't. I nearly, I nearly can, uh, but I just about can't. So I think the uh, the best thing to get uh, is going to be the uh, the ability to fly because that uh, is like a uh, a brand new move. So there we go. I can now, <laughs> I can now fly. And actually, I think I did actually. I think I did have uh, enough money to to buy both. Actually, let me think about it. Um, yeah, I could just about. Uh, buy that next one, uh, which means that my blade gears, that's what they're called, uh, do some some more damage. There we go. I was able to, to buy two upgrades, so I immediately went from not having enough money to do anything to now having enough money to, to buy two. And look, I don't fly like normal. I've got like radio jet wings that flap up and down and fire, and this is cool. This is cool. Drobit has just got that bit cool, and I think actually he's so cool that I'm going to play as him in the next episode as well, because I don't feel uh, like I've had uh, enough time with him yet. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll be leaving a link in the, uh, the description uh, to the next episode as soon as it's online. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!